Well, we've got some Batman Cape Crusader Leaf character designs, and honestly guys, these are fairly surprising. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about these new leaked pictures, where you can see them, and why there's definitely some new takes on some of our favorite characters. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and ring that bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC content, and we're going to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently, so you are in the know. Well, we've been talking a good bit of Batman Cape Crusader over on this channel, and hopefully we get some official news really soon. It was way back in 2022 when we learned about the project, and the fact that Bruce Timm, J.J. Abrams, and Matt Reeves were, were working to bring it to life. But then it seemed like the whole project was going to be scrapped by David Zaslav during all those tax write-offs, but luckily the project found a new home at Amazon, and now it appears we really will finally get to see it sometime this year. Now, outside of the promotional art, there really has been no official looks on anything concerning the project. But now, some leaked images have dropped, and not only do they give us a good look at the Dark Knight and Bruce Wayne, but several of the villains, which do have new looks, and even a little bit of a heftier Alfred Pennyworth. Now, sadly guys, I'm not going to show you these pictures. I'm going to link it down below. You guys are going to have to go check them out. Warner Brothers is issuing takedown notices and full-on copyright strikes for anybody post, so I'll just point you in the right direction, but play it safe and don't repost. Now, in these pictures, we get a look at Batman in quite a few shots, and from what we can pick up, the art we got earlier is nearly identical to the costume that ended up in the series. It definitely has those long ears, the costume is gray and dark blue slash black, and it resembles one of the earlier versions of the characters directly from the comics. We also get a little bit of a shot at Alfred, and Alfred is once again in the series, and is pretty reminiscent of classic designs for the character. He is a little heftier than the last couple of versions of Alfred, but he's about as traditional as you can get. Now when you get to the villains, that's where it starts to get a little different. Now, we actually got a first look at several villains, including Two-Face, Gentleman Ghost, Detective Renee Mont Montoya, Natalie Knight, Anamanapia, Clayface, a totally whacked out version of Harley Quinn, and Catwoman, who is wearing her traditional costume. Now, most of these do closely resemble the comic book versions. The Two-Face is a little less mutilated than he traditionally is in the comics or in recent movies, and Clayface seems to resemble his more original comic book counterpart than the latter morphing pile of clay we got to know in the animated series. Now, as far as Catwoman and Harley go, both of those designs I actually really like, and Harley is a little scary. Catwoman is in her classic purple suit, but they've added a cape which typically doesn't work for the character, but looks okay in the concept art. As for Harley Quinn, she looks pretty sinister. The costume itself has been completely reworked, and any of the more tantalizing elements of the character seem to have been removed. The new costume is scary, she kind of has some classic mime makeup, and definitely is not a version of the character that looks based on Arlene Sorkin, but more so on a genuinely scary clown. This definitely looks like a combination between Batman the Animated Series and the Brave and the Bold. They definitely lean a little bit into that Brave and the Bold look for faces, but the bodies and some of the scenes in the animation crops look just like the original animated series. Like I said, the people reposting these images are getting copyright strikes, but it's been linked down below. It's still posted over on Instagram, so I totally encourage you to check that out. This does make me a little more excited for the show, and you'll notice in those screen caps there's some Amazon stamps on it, which means it's come from Amazon internally, meaning they're probably test screening these episodes now, and we should get some big news any day. So go check the designs out, come back here, and let me know what you think.